Hello, and welcome to Make It For Less. We make things for the lowest possible cost so that you can follow along at home and make them yourself. Today, we are making this universal remote, which can control all kinds of different things and will make it so you no longer need to keep a million remotes around. So you're saying I won't need this anymore? Yep, you can get rid of that just as soon as, as soon as we have used it to program the universal remote. Let's just move on to building. For this project, we will need one perf board for the base, a CR2032 coin cell battery and battery holder for power, a capacitor, one IR receiver to get the codes we need from the remotes, one IR LED to send the codes back out later, six diodes, six buttons, six resistors to build up our circuit, and finally, an Arduino Pro Mini to control everything. The values of the capacitor don't matter too much. I'm using a 1 microfarad 50 volt capacitor, but most any capacitor will do. Same goes for the resistor. I'm using a 2000 ohm resistor, but anything from around 1 to 10,000 ohms will work. For this project, we're going to be using these coin cell batteries for power. For some reason, wired remotes never really caught on. <sighs> These batteries are small, convenient, and have a super small capacity. If we don't do something, we have a problem. The Pro Mini we are using draws almost 7 milliamps of power. We're running a simple program to blink an LED. Our coin cell battery only has about 240 milliamp hours. What this means is that we could power something that uses 240 milliamps for about an hour, or the Pro Mini at 7 milliamps for about 35 hours. That might not seem too bad, but I don't think anyone wants to swap the batteries in the remote out every other day. We can do some of the work through code and bring the usage when the LED is off down to around one and a half milliamps. If we really want to bring down our power usage as much as possible though, we're going to need to make some hardware modifications. The Pro Mini has a power LED and a voltage regulator built onto the board. We need to remove these two components. They are not necessary and use a fair amount of electricity. You can either carefully desolder the components, or go with the method I prefer and get a pair of clippers and crunch them off. With these modifications, the power usage on the device is so low, I can't even measure it with my multimeter. Now that we have modified the Pro Mini, we can move on to assembly. I chose to assemble things on this perf board to keep everything organized. That's not strictly necessary though, and as long as you follow this wiring diagram and connect everything correctly, it should all work. You can pause here and copy the diagram down. This diagram will also be available from the link in the description. Oh, and what is this? Subscreeb? Subscribe? If you see this button too, can you press it and let me know what it does? Anyways, back to the matter at hand. Here's the final product after assembly. Now that everything is put together, you may be tempted to put the battery in. You can, but it will make programming it later harder. For now, just put a piece of paper in the battery holder to prevent a short circuit from ground to power. You may notice at this point that there is no USB port on this particular microcontroller. You will notice, however, these suspicious pinholes at the top. 
We use those holes and this device called an FTDI breakout to do the programming. We need to make sure that we're connecting these two together correctly. And the easiest way to do that is to find the TX and RX pins on the microcontroller and on the FTDI. You just want to make sure that the RX of one goes to the TX of the other and vice versa. Once you've done that, you can program it just like any other Arduino. Before you can upload the code for this project, you're going to need two libraries, the IR Remote Library and the Low Power Library. The IR Remote Library is available from the normal library manager. The Low Power Library, however, needs to be downloaded separately. You can find a link in the description to a website that has the library available as a zip file download. And then you can upload it to the Arduino IDE, just like this. Once that's all done, you can download the code, also available from a link in the description, and upload it. Once the Pro Mini is programmed, you can put the battery in and it should start working. In order to program the remote, all you have to do is hold down one of the buttons for just a second. A light will come on, indicating that the button is ready to be programmed. Once in programming mode, just point an IR remote at the receiver and press a button. The light will turn off, indicating that that button has been programmed. The remote will now remember the code for that button, and you can use it just like a regular remote. Each of the six buttons can be programmed individually and for all different devices. And with that, we are done. And now you can get on to the best part. I hope you liked this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. And if you want to see more in the future, a subscribe would be amazing. If you have any questions or suggestions for future projects, leave a comment below. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time on Make It For Less.